Hi, I'm Craig Turnka, and we're here at Chad and Susie Chance's place in Pilot Point, Texas, home of Hoof Watch. And we're uh, teamed up with WCB to make some educational videos for upcoming contests throughout the season. And the one that we made today is the anterior toe extension, or the shirt burner, we like to call it. <laughs> the anterior toe extension shoe is a shoe made out of three-eighths by inch and a quarter. It's quarter clipped, and it has got an exaggerated outside on it and a medial side. It's got some boxing on the lateral side. All right, and th this shoe is hammer finished, so you want to make sure you get your heels forged in really nice. We have three eighths by uh, inch and a quarter. We're given 13 inches, and so I'm going three and a quarter and nine and three quarter. This shoe is basically a, a all out drawing shoe. You really got no bumping. It's going to be drawing from the time we start till the time we finish. So we're trying to get size. I'm going to upset this a little bit to just give me some material to, to remove. And when I say that, I don't think it's the right dimension to weld properly. So I'm going to just upset both sides so the corners get a little thicker because the corners is where it tears. Got the medial side done. This is going to be the out, so we'll... We got, it's a hammer finished shoe, so you want to pay pretty close attention to getting all your cold shunts and your fish mouths and all that, get it all rounded up pretty nice. There we go. All right. We have a medial and a lateral aspect. I got this done in two heats. We're just going to bend this around. But I'm going to clean up the heel, clean up the heel, clean up my section, and uh, we'll be ready to weld it on. Really finish up those heels so that you're not going to, definitely not going to struggle with those opening up on you. Come on, come on, come on you. Now get up into the web a little bit. There you go. Come on with the web. Get up into the little web. Perfect. All right, so now I've got it scooped off. I've got a nice area for it to grab onto, and I'll put my flat on there, and we'll get everything pushed together. Just upsetting it a little bit, and then I, I just want to make the, the skinnier it is, the hotter it'll get. The hotter it gets, that will be the first place it welds. It starts to take just a bit of a radius, and that's what we want so that it'll weld. This one I want to get a head start on. That is welded. That ain't coming off this time or any other time. I'm really proud of myself right now. I'm not gonna lie, okay? All right, this is a very important part. I'm gonna come in here. All right, so now I wanna come in here 
And I want to weld these corners. See how I got the tack those corners down. And then I'm going to use Eric's assistant to flatten it out. Just What I did is I've, I've thickened everything up so I have thickness there so where I can tack it all together. I'm just putting my seams together. You can see how I'm just kind of Let's get the flatter, Eric. I'm pushing that corner down in there. Basically right here, I'm just straightening it up with line of travel. And then you can see, watch, I'll pull my hammer this way and I'm pulling it. Yeah, you wanna stay out on the bick, way out on the tip. This will put a nice, and you're just using part of the horn to pat the inside of it. You're not using the whole horn. Back here, we'll just keep getting wider and wider. And then you'll have a kink right where it comes out of. I want these branches, I want these branches shooting down like they are. What I'm doing is just trying to get these corners and, and really lock these corners in. Bust a little bit of that slag loose so it, and then we, at this point, I feel like I've got the basic shape. I think that everything's pretty well square. If you look, we're gonna try and use this bar as our, this is gonna be our ending spot right here and right here. So we'll use that, that extension to mark where the fullering starts and stops. All right, I've got, what I'm doing is I'm keeping my, my toe extension squared up with the sides of the anvil. I, I look like I'm pretty well balanced as far as coming out of the toe extension. So now I'm just gonna mark my fullering across and that makes a perfect block. And, and my, my toenails, I'll come just a little bit past this line because this line is a reference of where my, my extension stopped. When you're, when you're doing this, be looking at the branch because you have no reference because you have this giant square. So I'm looking at the branch. And again, I'm looking at the branch. The reason you want to come a little bit past this line is because the edge of your clip starts right there. So you don't want to have your toenail be covered up by the clip. I'm going to come in here. I'm hemming. The boxing comes pretty much far right up to the branch. Three nails. Just flat blows. You can see right here, I'm just gonna kind of make it flow a little bit, coming around, get to the widest part, and then. I got an extra heat on here just to make sure that that weld doesn't pop when I'm doing all that heavy forging right in this area.
think that we're good. We're probably a little full in this corner, but we're gonna clip it. Have enough area to where when you clip it, you still can pull the source from the one corner because ideally you'd like to be right up against the corner, but you don't wanna screw up your whole project by trying to emulate a shoe and then just have it be non-functionable. Come on, give me some. There you go. Now down. There you go. Just kind of getting some width in this. And again, that same move that I've been doing is right at the heel now and just pushing it. And getting that branch out. Just kind of cleaning everything up to the toe. Opening up my fuller in a little bit. Flattening her up. 